So, funk's drumming technique. Why do people get this wrong, and how do people like Corey Wong get through an entire set of playing nothing but 16th notes and not tire out and get loads of fatigue and muscle cramp in their arm? There's a couple of things you need to consider here. The first one is the motion of the strum is not one that is perpendicular to the strings. This is often a massive misconception because when you look at it from the front, let's say I look at this and I'm doing this, this looks like I'm going down and then up. And that's not what's going on at all. What's actually happening here is I'm going into the strings, so that's an inwards component here, and then out of the strings, like this. If I do that slowly, you can really see how much of an angle I've got this pick on. And that trajectory is not visible from the front here. Hopefully you can see this is a bit of an optical illusion. It doesn't look like I'm going in and out of the guitar because it just looks like the up and down motion from that perspective. Now that's really important because again, that's what these people are doing. They're all coming into the guitar and out of the guitar. The reason why that's important is that that's where your pick attack is. You don't have to hit the guitar hard, but if you have an inwards component of the downstroke and an outwards component of the upstroke, you get that snap that you're after. So instead of this, where you can hear that kind of like almost Pac-Man sound going on, I get this kind of thing. That's much more what we're after and it gives you a much more authentic sound. And also, we don't have to add any extra force in order to get that sound. So I'm really relaxed here. It's just the fact that I'm pushing into the guitar that's giving me that snap. It's not that I'm hitting it really hard. So you can get the sound without putting in all of the energy, which is a really important point. The second thing that quite a lot of players do is that they don't play on a perpendicular angle this way either. So if you think about the motion of my hand, the wrist sits here, it naturally wants to go a bit towards the bridge and a bit back this way. So we end up going like this, and hopefully you can see that that's more like this angle here. And so if I add that to pushing in and out of the guitar as well, I end up with something that looks a little bit like this, and hopefully you can see that from both angles. It's got an inwards component into the strings, and also a sideways component towards the bridge. If you put those two things together, you get this really fluid funk technique. And all of that 30 second note stuff actually becomes possible then because the resistance from the strings isn't enough to stop you from moving your hand super fast. So this is where a lot of people go wrong but it doesn't take that much practice before you'll find that that becomes a natural thing to do because it's a lot easier than the other options. Give it a go, see how you do.